You smell. I don't know if you smell more or less than anybody else, but you smell. Anthony here for D News, and hey, I did not, I didn't mean it as an insult, man. I'm sorry. It's totally cool. It's just part of being a living thing. We all smell, and we actually all smell different. It might be hard to tell on a city bus or in a crowded locker room, but your brain definitely picks up on it. So much so that you tend to favor people and things that smell differently than you do. See, we're all covered in these molecules called major histocompatibility complex proteins. Animals use MHC peptides to find a mate, and scientists have found out that we might actually use them too. See, you've probably heard of pheromone parties. Have you heard of these things? This is a party where everybody brings a sweaty shirt in a plastic bag and then everyone passes around the plastic bags and smells them and whatever shirt you like the smell of the most is supposedly somebody you'd be a good romantic match with. It is super gross. It's actually kind of scientifically sound. There was a 1995 study using sweaty shirts that showed that women prefer people with a particular MHC scent. So, are they looking for certain kinds of things? What kind of MHC scent appeals to the ladies? Well, don't worry about not having the kind of scent that your one true love is gonna be into. It turns out that we're not all that sensitive. We're just basically looking for something that doesn't smell like us. As a follow-up to the stinky shirt study, scientists tested different scents and perfumes on people, and some of them had their own MHCs mixed in, and the ones with their own MHCs triggered a response in one region of the brain, and all the different smelling MHCs triggered another one. The idea here is that you're probably choosing perfumes or deodorants for yourself that are amplifying and working with your own subtle smells to make them stronger, but you won't like that scent on a potential mate. So how do you make this work for you other than having to go to a sweaty t-shirt party? Well, you're probably creepily sniffing your crush anyway. Just take note of the scent and then try to wear something that smells as different from it as possible. And do not get caught smelling them for God's sake. I have made that mistake one time too many. Have you noticed a particular smell that you're into? I'm kind of into vanilla. Does that mean I smell like chocolate? Subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow. What is the opposite of vanilla? Like raspberry? Neapolitan?